Hi, I'm Celine Morin and I'm delighted to be doing this first video, which is a series of five on well-being topics for data trial and their customers and friends of customers. So today, Monday, we'll look at mindfulness. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll look at how you can choose and make better choices to help you stay curious and calm despite all the chaos. Wednesday, we'll take a look at how the practice of gratitude can help with emotional well-being. Thursday, we'll look at strategic movement and how that can help you stay energized and reduce stress. And Friday, let's keep Friday to Friday foodie. So we'll talk about how food and immunity and your gut health are all connected. When it comes to mindfulness, there's so much we can say, but we are going to keep these videos short and bite-sized so that they're easy to digest and that you can leave with one, one idea perhaps of something that you could do differently or try out. You may already have a mindfulness practice. Perhaps you do some meditation or spend time journaling or in quiet reflection. That's great. The benefits of spending time in stillness for 15 or 20 minutes are enormous. But often it's enormous to think about starting with that. So what I'd like to suggest is that you perhaps try a mindful minute. That means you find one minute in your day where you can shut off distraction. So perhaps sit somewhere quietly, set, set an alarm or a time, soften your gaze, perhaps close your eyes. And the easiest place to start is to bring your awareness to your breath. Because the mind is so busy, you might have heard of the monkey mind. You know this four pound universe that sits on our shoulders. I mean, it's, it's an incredible organ, but it's also quite hard to keep still, especially during these, these very uncertain times. So giving your mind something to do can help that monkey mind. So focus on your breath or focus on your senses. Soften your gaze so that you aren't distracted by what you can see and think about what am I hearing? What am I feeling? Can I taste or smell anything? Can I feel my feet on the floor? Or for one minute, bring your awareness to your breath. The slower we breathe, the more likely we are to tap into that rest and digest nervous system and reduce the negative impact of stress, especially if we lengthen our exhale. So for one minute, breathe deeply into your belly and lengthen your exhale. Why don't you try a mindful minute perhaps before just grabbing a snack or eating a meal? Because now that we're working from home, <laughs> probably like me, you might find yourself um, in the kitchen a lot. And mindful eating or being mindful before we just simply eat something can help with snack accidents, which are when we just eat when we're probably just bored or looking for something to distract ourselves. So when can you try a mindful, mindful minute? What about right now? Could you time your timer, close your eyes and focus on your breath for one minute? It's a lovely exercise to do between meetings, especially if you need to clear uh, your thoughts and be refocused for a different task. I'd love to hear if the mindful minute is something that you can use and whether you use mindfulness or meditation and experience the benefits. Join us for Tuesday's video, which will be all about choices and choosing.